This is a highly lethal magnetic bomb which an insurgent can quickly place in the side of a car without raising suspicion. These improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, kill and badly injure police officers, security personnel and civilians across Afghanistan. But it's a small contingent from Ireland which has brought their experience from a long history in counter-terrorism operations in their homeland to help Afghans make their nation safer. Ireland is well known for its association with terrorism and IEDs and I come from the Irish Army Defence Forces Ordnance Corps uh, where I trained as an uh, improvised explosive device uh, operator which basically means I can make bombs safe. But preventing bomb attacks is more than just disarming the device called EOD or Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Lieutenant Colonel Hughes works alongside both Afghan and international teams to build a national counter IED strategy which places a strong focus on building law enforcement units to identify and arrest insurgents before they have a chance to build the deadly bombs. The police under the national strategy for counter ID are um, expected to develop so that they can uh, target these criminals and prosecute them and that's the main focus of our efforts with the police. So to give them a capability to de defeat the device, yes, but more importantly to, to develop that uh, exploitation capability and tie in with the uh, Adjutant General's Office, the Ministry of Justice and the court system and also the prosecutors. So counter ID is more than just defeat the, the device which, which we saw today. The commander of the Kabul-based Bomb Disposal Engineering Unit believes these government departments are key to tackling the bomb threat. and it's this training and moves to build a nationwide strategy to tackle the bomb threat, which Lieutenant Colonel Hughes sees as the key to a safer Afghanistan. Basic education will have um, will pay great dividends for this effort, and further on then EOD teams and developing up to the more sophisticated evidence-based operations based on forensic uh, exploitation of um, evidence from scenes. This is the NATO Channel reporting from Kabul.